the garage champion noise chase is next is a three mile and one furlong grade one so we're going a little bit further this time and at the top we've got Geraldo's Lawn for Darren Thompson, Profit Clyde for David Robertson, Royal Ghost, Craig Beckwith, Saltzello, Manor, Darren Thompson, The Gathering, Joshua Sutherland, Wildcard, David Healy, Frog March, Paul Rhodes, Gale on the River, Martin Leadham, Increased Prosperity, Leon Van Rensburg, Love 30, Graham Clutterbuck, Night Clubber, Craig Beckwith and The Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland who's just going to go off favourite and there's 12 of them in the rain and away they go, headed towards the first this first long distance race of the week, three miles and a furlong. And the pace is appears to be quite slow, but that's because we've just seen three two milers, so they would appear to be going a little bit more slowly, wouldn't they? They're making their way towards the first of 16. And the pace, I think, is a little bit slower than normal. And it's going to be the gathering who's going to lead them into the first, which they all get over okay. The field is very tightly grouped, no more than five lengths first to last at the moment with the gathering. Possibly a reluctant leader from Frog March and Geraldo's Lawn. And they love 13 Gale on the river as they get into the second, and the leader's gone. He's gone. He took a bit of a risk there. The gathering, it looked like he was going to survive it for a while, but the jockey exited the side door. And the gathering is out as they get to the third. Joshua Southern still got the pre race favourite, though, the Shepherd on the wide outside. And it's Geraldo's Lawn who's now found himself in the lead. Gale on the river, and Love 30, then Frog March and Wildcard. And they're still playing a little game of after you, Claude, at the moment. Nobody all that keen to lead. And Frog March looks like, well, sorry, Love 30 looks like it's going to be the one to come through to take it up as they get into the fourth. And over that one they go, and Geraldo's lawn landed in front. Gale on the river, been hard held on the inside, has now just about poked her head in front. Love 30 on the outside is close up as well, but they're still really tightly packed as they come into the fifth. This is a big ditch, and over it they go, and they're all safely over that, with the exception of Night Clubber. Night Clubber has gone. So two out now. And Craig Beckwith's Night Clubber's gone. He's still got Royal Ghost in the race, so still got an interest in this event. And it's Love 30, who's now in the lead by about three parts of a length through Frog March on the inside, then Gale on the river on the inside of Geraldo's lawn. Wildcard is wide on the track, then Saltello Manor. The Shepherd is after that one with Prophet Clyde on its inside and Royal Ghost on its outside as they get over the next, where Increased Prosperity took off in last place but landed last but one with a decent leap. So they're coming up past the winning post short. I'd like to say past the stand, but they're miles away from the stand. <laughs> <laughs> I say every time, but I wouldn't want to pay good money to stand that far away from the finish. Anyway, it's Wildcard who's gone into the lead. I love third is in second. Frog March is in third. Then the Shepherd and Prophet Clyde who's moved through nicely. Gale on the river has just dropped back a little bit as they take the seventh. And Increased Prosperity made a bit of a mistake at the back. And it's now a clear last again. But well, Love 30 continues to... Serving up to the rest of them in the lead with the Shepherd now moving through on the outside into second. Wildcard is in third, then Frog March and Profit Clyde as they get over the next little 30 was very ponderous over that one, and that's left the Shepherd a reluctant leader. Frog March on the inside doesn't want to go on either. Profit Clyde is now coming up on the outside, and this really is a tactical race at the moment. Nothing all that keen to be the front runner as they come to the ninth. And over that one they all go. They started to get a little bit strung out as well. And the Shepherd is in the lead from Frog March on the inside in second. Then Love 30 and Profit Clyde together with Wildcard and Saltzello Manor. Then Geraldo's Lawn and Gale on the river as they get over that ditch. Increased Prosperity and Royal Ghost to the back too. But the Shepherd running alongside his jockeyless stable mate. He's about a length and a half clear. Oh, Frog March in second, Love 13 third, Saltello Manor. Going to try and go up the inside, risky manoeuvre that with the loose horse. Going to need a little bit of luck in running. Gale on the rivers behind that one. Going to need even more luck in running as they come down to the 11th. And over that one they all go. They're beginning to bunch up again behind this leader, or the Royal Ghost. He's finding it all a little bit hot at the moment. He's starting to drop away. The Shepherd is two lengths clear. Oh, Love 30 in Geraldo's lawn. Going into the 12th, 
a really good job by the leader there. Gal on the river was awkward and untidy. Well, it's the shepherd who continues to lead the Darren Thompson pair are chasing in second and third as they get over to the 13th, which they all got over okay. Royal Ghost is pretty much out of it. I'm pretty sure it'll be pulled up shortly, but it's the shepherd who's in front from Geraldo's River who now comes through to challenge in second. Gap back to Saltello Manor, then increased prosperity, who's making a forward move for Og March and Love, uh, Gale on the River and Prophet Clyde. Wild Card is next. But the leading pair are three lengths clear of increased prosperity as they get over the third last. And it's the Shepherd on the inside of Geraldo's lawn. Increased prosperity looks a big danger now on the outside. Love 30 is trying to get back into it again. So Saltzano Manor, they come in down towards the final three and a half wheel. This is the second last, the final ditch. And over it they go. And he's gone there. Geraldo's lawn's gone. That's left increased prosperity a length clear. It's increased prosperity from the Shepherd who's under pressure in second. Saltzano Manor is third. Love 30 is four. Then Wildcard and Gale on the river. And coming towards the final two and a half furlongs. They've got just one more finish to take an increased prosperity is in the lead for Leon van Rensburg Salzo Menor is in second the Shepherds under pressure in third surely between these as they come down towards the final fence increased prosperity looking like he's only got to jump it he gets over it nicely gets away from it well Salzo Menor is trying to close but it's going to be increased prosperity with a furlong to go who's in control of the race at the moment the Shepherd is trying to run on but it's going to be increased prosperity it's going to be a winner for Leon van Rensburg as they race up towards the line jockey has a little look round he's Confident is clear enough as they come to the line. He takes it nicely. Increased prosperity wins it. The Shepherd second, South Tano Manor wild card, and then Frog March Profit Clyde Gale on the river. And Royal Ghost did get round and I think got past Love 30 as well. So a win for Leon takes the three mile novice. Increased posterity, the winner for Leon Van Rensburg ended up favourite. The Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland was second. Saltzello Manor, Darren Thompson third. Wildcard David Hoodie fourth. And Frog March for Paul Rhodes was fifth.